on against Paper X 13 to 11. And it's the only time that they've used this lineup as well. Mm. Happy to see Jing onto that chamber. A massive impact agent here on the map, of course, of Breeze. But look at this lean straight into cave already. Surf yeah, yeah. dropping down Benkai. That's going to be massive amounts of information. Foxy also can send the Guiding Light in, knowing now that there is some player base over towards that elbow position. But Jing still looking from mid, trying to creep out as much as they can. That trademark is going to get so much information here, Komodo, as Jing does manage to at least get one more. But Sushi Boy is good for the trade. Ooh, and now it's trying to march that defense here. Foxy. Foxy, Punish, Forsaken takes him down. Mind Freak does get dropped though as well. It's a two on two as that spike will go down on towards that big side. Ooh, and Sushi Boys didn't get the spot because it's planted on the backside of the pillar right now. So clearing out all in the main under the window as well. And I think the is going to be spotted out. So they know for now where he is, but through the wall, he's able to find it. Double wall, in fact. As Topsy Screen does go down, now Sushi Boys in this one versus two knows where both of the players relatively are, but it's all going to come down to the timing. Forsaken through toward the archers to see if he can relocate with his teammate, get a line on the spike, and Sushi Boys gets a couple shots oh. out, but loses it to Devai, and the pistol round is over towards Paper X. Zersha having such an explosive start again, but you know how well Paper X are able to adjust, and you know, that trademark in a perfect position to catch off the information to really sort of stem the bleeding, I guess, of Paper X and allowing them to uh, afford themselves a way back into the round. It was a great rotation for Forsaken out from mid back into defender side of spawn. And another just explosive position from Paper yeah. X showing us why that they are, you know, the best team in this competition by far from what we can see. However, Another opportunity, another moment. Zersha, they are just going to take the gentle one here. Down by Cruz, but again, Conky of this focus is all on the spike, and look how patient Paper X are. There's the frag for Mind Freak, caught in a reload, however, and oh, a trade scary. from Scary. He's able to get onto the defuse, and he's got it, of course, with time to spare. So the bonus round is not one out by Paper X, but my own mind, did they make it close? The hero again in the form of Scary. You know, we saw this against Onyx G. So many individual performance moments. I actually think that was the closing out of one of those maps with a 3k from the back of the B site there as well. But, you know, we're already seeing explosive starts here. It's an important round to be win from uh, one rather from Zersia. They've just got to have a, a couple more of those brilliant moments, right? You know, the biggest difference here is that obviously Paper X have been operating on all cylinders. You cannot be relying on just Surf or just Scary mm. to do all the damage. And, you know, Sushi Boy's here, obviously, on this jet. We've got Surf on the chamber. There will be big, big moments of hype to come up. But how consistent can it be from Zersia? I was going to make mention on the fact that uh, uh, Benkai was the one with the Marshal in this round, but it's good to see that they've changed over weapons because Forsaken has the Blade Storm. And now it's going to have to activate. And look at that. Straight uh -oh. into water for the trade on towards Surf. And the Knife overwhelming destroyed. of the A side. Another one out for Forsaken. Just trying to go above and beyond for his team. The challenge is though he will get sat down. And with the spike going on down, it would have been a big duel for Divide to win. Sushi Boys gets traded out as well. And now the two versus two. Scary. Bridge. Starting to come on out. Overlooking the bridge position. He will be taken down. The death of him and Foxy. Conky, he's got nine HP. And he's coming for a big old flank. How do you get back into this if you are nine HP? You just have to save this Vandal to the next round, yeah. right? Nothing to do. Nothing to do at all. He is even going to fake out the drop of the vent, but I think he might want to be going down there himself, to be quite honest. Did just Bink the flank to come in from Mind Freak. I think he went straight through the... Uh, Straight through the tunnel, right? To get well, there? Well, you got you to remember, uh, in this game of Valorant, players know how much damage is delivered, right? I think Benkai literally just had a lineup to ricochet the dart off of the pillar to land at the bottom of the chute. Just in case he was there, it would have killed him. If that it was is. the case there, that that's just like big IQ server tech. <laughs> Well, again, you know, Paper X showing how far ahead they are in this series alone. A complete and utter change from uh, Apex VCT Stage 1, where we did get to see all five maps. Again, there is still an opportunity for at least a fourth, but it's not looking likely right now, just given the strong start that we do have here. What's the investment going to look like right now? Surf, he's toying with a full purchase, wants to be looking towards picking up, Obviously, that two of the four shortly, and it's only going to be Foxy to be the one with the full investment here. Mm. Sushi Boys does have the Blade Storm up and ready. There's uh, a couple of ultimate orbs away from actually having a really, really strong yeah. and healthy set of ultimates to come out. You'd really love Surf to have the two of the four here so it can be the Blades and the uh, big old Sniper, but it's not the case. Scary's going to be taking the first challenge with Sushi Boys, and it needs to be a right click at that distance, you would think, but it doesn't get the job, uh, the job done. Right? The double operator is something that we have definitely seen from them before. It's going to be in the hands of Surf and Sushi Boys, both players able to relocate immediately and uh 
<laughs> not really pick. a good start from them, yeah. but we'll see. And now it's just going to be a really awkward one because Sushi Boys has to just set his focus on in towards the cave. Does get the opener onto Benkai, but now they kind of have to split their focus, split their approach, right? So scary is there at least with the Poison Cloud, to kind of create the space for now, but they are so close to that door before now falling out. Oh, the Boys is on the line. Yeah, it's going to be... Oh, no, it. there's the knee. There's the knee cap, and the shoulder shot comes through. Lovely, lovely stuff. Divide will send the bird down the vent, but unfortunately, uh, you know, not really more to be found so far. But again, we've seen Paper X bring back these 2VX scenarios. Can they do it again, or will we need, or see rather, a well-needed round for Zersha here? Just look at the crosshair position of Surf, man. He's expecting the jump shot. If he gets any lick of a wider swing, he's going to take the frag. And this is all bait from the A moment that your head would be in your hands for, for a Zersha, that's probably it. Forsaken is even opening up this new round no with way. those frags. He's dashing away. He's not going to find the third in the round, but maybe he's still got some extra change to be able to flick around. Scary in a one versus three. He's just absolutely taking this map for his own. Forsaken is an absolute monster. But for That's scary. insane. How is he alive, Komodo? Uh, like, I, I don't know. How do you even know. have the confidence to do this? Again, it's your grand final. I mean, look, sure, I guess given the fact that you've already made your way to Copenhagen, you've already got a master slot, like you can maybe play a little bit more confident, but just this is next level. This is a beast unleashed in the form of Forsaken, and I'm all here for it. Oh, Scary's going to be looking for an exit kill here, Conky, but how much more space and room do you give over towards Paper Rex if you want to try and get back into all this game? I mean, it's going to be 8-1 to one here at the closer of this round, and oh my, man. All right, at least, he, at least he shuts down Forsaken. So that's going to be an upgrade for a Vandal in the next <laughs> round. Uh, actually, no, never mind. Benkai's going to get the wrong. trade there. So, Goodbye. yeah, wrong. I'll take that one. Ultimate territory again for the guys in the server right now. Uh... So if you're thinking about how to get back into this game for Zersha, that that's the ultimate question, right? That's the problem that's posed right now. What can they do differently to try and get back into this? It's just a question that we've really been clutching at straws through the entire time because when you've got the confidence in a player like Forsaken, it can be so hard to even... Still on the site, but you've got three players for Zersha still to contend and lock it in. The pit is brought onto the floor, and that's the one that's come out from Mind Freak as well. So there's some protection for Paper Rex and a spray that goes aloof for Foxy. The space is the flank, actually, is starting to come on out as well. But for Surf, it needs to happen, and it's not Conky. It's Paper Rex just doing what they do best. It's shooting the opposition... Pushing them into a corner, not letting them get anything in. And it's another one for Paper X. That is 10 attacking rounds. That smile, that damn smile coming out from Jing in a round like that. They are so happy with what they've been doing. And I do not blame them. You know, this is absolute perfection. The way that you need to see a confident run. Look at this. They're even going to pull out the operators as they have done before. <laughs> you know, we saw it as a, a bit of a throw one round uh, a couple of games ago that Xertia did exactly this, but they were still able to close out the map uh, against Onyx G. But now, look, yeah, but I not think... not that round uh, specifically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly right. Paper X this time, you know, they did it in the previous, uh, previous map. I think they've got it in them to do it again. Mind Freak should have another here with a great bit of positioning. Sushi Boys needs to collect more, and he will get three. Tailwind away, and it's a one versus three for Mind Freak, but it will be towards the halls. But they look to uh, have pumped the brakes here, where it's the complete and utter opposite for Paper X. It's going to be this drop down events like Spider Man, but Foxy does spot some info. Only one, though. Divai good for the trade, and make it more than just a trade here, Komodo. He's got more, and Ben Kai, are you kidding me? This is just an absolute, complete and utter joke right now. Zersha had all all the right decisions but just two members in Divai and Benkai what do you do at this point uh, in time Zersha I think maybe it's the time to get out your hand and, and just say well done Paper yep. Rex you played this game how it should be played not allowing anything from your opponents to get the better of you even in situations of deficit they have been able to just stare it in the face and say no multi-frags from every which member you love to see it from paper x it's a pistol over towards them yet again which means the last four pistols have been their way uh and yeah do or die time really for Zertia, it was a little bit of go we'll see what extra change they have here it's another opening for surf at least to get something started yeah Got to find a little bit more than an opening though here, Komodo, as there is members already ready. I suppose the positioning of Foxy is something that's massive, but still, 
from Cruz to at least hold them back. That is two for the KO here. Very, very nicely done. But how many more can they collect? Information gathered onto Sushi Boys. Look at Benkai. He has not got any fear at all, Komodo. But it's the opposite for Zertia. They're just waiting passively. But it's all waiting for the right cause. It's scary. Locks into position. Sushi Boys to drop Benkai. And at least whilst that spike is down, it's Forsaken who has a long, long rotate away from him and an operator in mm. hand. It ain't going to be easy, but if someone is to do it, okay. I'm glad that I'm saying it's not Forsaken in this round. Zersha get five, <laughs> and they cling to dear life here on Breeze. So that was the belated bonus, right? That's the round that Zersha needed to be able to tackle to first get started into it because usually they would have a little bit of the lesser weaponry. So it's really good to see that they're able to maneuver around the uh, the side of A and really just find some great timing, right? You see that little later flank from Scary. You see the cross positioning around the site as well, really looked after. And you see Cruz just lock it down from the cave, even though there wasn't any flanks in that regard. His full focus was toward the site to assist the from behind for those entries. And now moving into a new round, it's Zersha staring against the these pistols get again of Paper X, but they're immediately in toward the cave right now, into the shop, and it's great to see that Zertia are holding forwards. However, the Hunter's Fury no from Benkai, way. that's three, and it's a one versus one. Problems, Conky, is scary as on 70 HP. The Marshal yeah. could end him. One shot to the body, and it's been, like, what, 20 seconds into the Not round even. that we've seen? <laughs> the rotation is there out from Benkai. He set his sights towards B, you know, potentially thinking that Scary's run away, but the man... He, you know, lives for fear. He instills it into the hearts of his opponents. And now it's going to be that slow walk. Every single angle needs to be checked. And unfortunately on Breeze, yeah. there's, a, there's a whole lot of them. Well, it's actually good to see that he is sticking towards this A site, even though that's where Benkai got all those frags from because of the utility here for Scary, right? He's got his wall he can play with. He's got his poison cloud already on the spike, and he has the tech, the snake bites, if he wants to. But I think the element of surprise is what he's going to be running in with, and if he reveals himself to Benkai, it could be over in this round. The silence before. It's all timing. One strike of lightning. That's what we need to see exactly right. Timing. Whoever sees who first should be the closing of the round. Oh. And Benkai is going to see him looking oh, one no. way. The barrel. The, the barrel. Head. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Oh. No way, man. It was all going to be onto a moment like that. Where would they look through? And I guess, like, you know, while Scary puts himself into a good position where he can watch a whole lot, and obviously in the previous, he doesn't want to be able to play that post plant with the snake bite, right? Because he knows that that's already been caught out from him. But... To play there of all places is a bold move, Cotton, and unfortunately it did not pay off. Yeah, you just got to risk it for the biscuit in those situations, right? You got to try and read in all of the information that you've got from your opponents. What are their tendencies and stuff? But for Benkai, I mean, he's got the HP advantage and he's gone in. The oh, Marshall God, Barrel round. was actually blocking him for so yeah. long. Um, but he gets the job done. It's a little bit of comic relief for everybody watching. And now oh. we're into seven series grand final points for Paper Rex. And this is the effort from Zersha in toward the B site and the entrapment of the Odins. Going to be, however, one of the judge, one of the Odin to start, and another on this judge inside the pit. The Viper will strike Mind Freak. Looking great. Forsaken with another. And ladies and gentlemen, it is.